Hi everyone, we are back with yet another video and today we are going to talk about the idea and stages of market sizing and guesstimate interview questions to make your journey with interviews easy. What do you think is the smartphone market size in Germany? These type of interview questions may seem challenging and even irritating initially. But once you are aware of the steps to implement, they will become much more enjoyable. We will walk you through every step, show you our tips and tricks and in the upcoming videos, we will give you some example questions to practice. What are market sizing and guesstimate interview questions? Let's take a look. A guesstimate question in an interview asks the candidate to anticipate a number based on very restricted data. Successful answering of these questions depends upon combination of logical thinking, mental math, background knowledge and problem solving skill. Market sizing questions ask the candidate to anticipate the market size of a specific product seldom using limited data. Good command of logic, math and problem solving skills are required along with background business knowledge. Let us now understand the steps that can be taken to easily solve such questions. The first and foremost thing that one should be doing is clarifying the problem. Make sure that you are in the same place as your interviewer on each detail of the question. Clarifying at the start serves four aims. Firstly, it offers you the most important data to solve an otherwise unclear issue. Second, it brings you and the interviewer on the same page, preventing later disagreements. Thirdly, it shows a perfect organized approach to solving the problem. And lastly, it offers you some time to think about the issue. One should never skip this step, as market sizing and guesstimate questions are always ambiguous about crucial details. If it seems clear to you, you're surely missing those ambiguous points. Now, if we go straight to the question of smartphones, there are four points that need to be clarified. What is a smartphone? What is the unit of measurement? What is the time frame to calculate the market size? And lastly, at which point in the time is the market size calculated? For the purpose of demonstration, suppose we get these clarifications. Say, a smartphone is a phone that is exclusively using a touch screen. Second, the unit of measurement is the number of smartphones sold to end users. Third, the time frame that is used is annual. And lastly, the question concerns the German sector at present. Next, ask for a timeout and then break down the problem into pieces, small enough to anticipate reasonably. Every small piece has to be more convenient to anticipate than the big piece. If you cannot estimate the small pieces, you are not breaking down enough or you are doing it wrong. In the questions asked above, we can break down the number of smartphones sold to the end customer in four determinants. The size of the German population the percentage of mobile phone owners within the German population, the percentage of smartphone owners within German mobile phone owners, and lastly, the average lifespan of smartphones in Germany. The development of the market will not be included because the population of Germany is stable and the smartphone market there is already saturated. This graphical breakdown of the issue is known as a problem tree and is required to be me. The third step is solving each piece. Do not attempt doing this during the timeout phase as most likely it turns the otherwise short timeout into a long awkward silence which is poor. With that, let us have a look at some of the quick guesstimates for the German smartphone market. The percentage of smartphone owners is 95, anticipating only 5% of mobile phone owners select a keyboard phone since the nation is a developed nation. The average lifespan of smartphones in Germany is close to 2.5 years and so the average consumer uses 0.4 phones every year. Now, let us come to the final step of consolidating the pieces into the final answer. Quick mental math is crucial for this procedure. If your math is too slow, you will bore the interviewer to death. 
Nevertheless, do not rush. Remember, wrong calculations are bad for case interviews. Practice your mental math and tune it for a consulting case interview. Here are the calculations. The population of Germany, 80 million. The number of mobile phone owners, 80 million into 80%, which is 64 million. The number of smartphone owners, 64 million into 95%, which is 60 million. And the total annual unit sales of smartphones in Germany, 60 million into 0.4, which is 24 million. In reality, in 2020, 22.9 million smartphones would have sold in Germany. Remember, getting your answer this close is good, but in real instances, do not try too hard to get close. The only thing that matters here is a structured approach. Please.